it's good to see all of you. I don't see you, but you see me. And hopefully there's more than one or two people. But anyway. Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? Okay, we're going to do some warm-ups. You know, like before you go swimming, or you warm up before you run. Most athletes warm up. Well, we're going to do some warm-ups. And I'm going to ask you to do something, and you do it. Put your finger in the air, in the air. Put your finger in the air, in the air. Put your finger in the air. Put your finger everywhere. Put your finger in the air, in the air. Now this is a tough one. Stick out your tongue. Stick out your tongue in the air, in the air. Stick out your tongue in the air, in the air. Stick out your tongue in the air. Stick out your tongue everywhere. Stick out your tongue in the air, in the air. <laughs> Pull on your ear in the air, in the air. Pull on your ear in the air, in the air. Pull on your ear in the air. Pull on your ear everywhere. Pull on your ear in the air, in the air. Blink your eye in the air, in the air. Blink your eye in the air, in the air. Blink your eye in the air. Blink your eye everywhere. Blink your eye in the air, in the air. Okay. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them right into your chin. Open wide your little mouth, but do not let them in. Can you do it faster? Let's see if we can do it a little faster. Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them right unto your chin. Open wide your little mouth. But do not let them in. Let's see if we can do it even faster. You ready? Okay. Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them right unto your chin. Open wide your little mouth. But do not let them in. Once again, I'm getting ready. I have my dress and my apron on. And I'm going to come a little closer so you can see my tummy. <clears throat> I know an old lady who swallowed a nose. Why do you suppose she swallowed that nose? Well, that's the way it goes. I know an old lady who swallowed a mouth. Oh, did that mouth travel south? She swallowed the mouth if you swallow the nose. That's the way it goes. I know an old lady who swallowed some eyes. What a surprise that she swallowed some eyes. She swallowed some eyes if you swallow the mouth. Swallow the mouth if you swallow the nose. That's the way it goes. I know an old lady who swallowed a top. She ate and ate. Oh, she couldn't stop. She swallowed the top if you swallow the eyes. Swallow the eyes if you swallow the mouth. Swallow the mouth if you swallow the nose. That's the way it goes. I know an old lady who swallowed some seeds. That's what her body really needs. She swallowed some seeds if you swallow the top. Swallow the top if you swallow the eyes. Swallow the eyes if you swallow the mouth. Swallow the mouth if you swallow the nose. That's the way it goes. I know an old lady who swallowed a whole pumpkin. Now isn't that really something? That's the way it goes. Oh my goodness. A whole pumpkin in her tummy. Wow. So I'm going to take off my apron. If I can... 
find it. And I'm going to read you a book called Click Clack Boo. It's um, by the same authors who wrote Click Clack Moo. Click Clack Boo. By Doreen Cronin and Betsy Levin. Farmer Brown does not like Halloween. Witches give him nightmares. Pirates give him shivers. Jack-o'-lanterns flicker spooky shadows on the wall. Farmer Brown leaves a bowl of candy on the porch. He puts up a do not disturb sign. He draws the shades and locks the door. But in the barn, the Halloween party has begun. There is a crunch, crunch, crunching as the mice scurry across the field. There is a creak, creak, creaking as the sheep slowly push open the barn door. There is a tap, tap, tapping, and the cows go to the window to let the cats in. Cats are just like, what? Bats? Cats? Bats? That rhymed. Farmer Brown does not like the sounds of Halloween night. He checks the lock on the door. He peeks through the window. There is a dark creature standing beneath the trees. Farmer Brown runs to his room. He pulls on his pajamas and he climbs under the covers. He hears the crunch, crunch, crunching of leafy footsteps heading toward the house. There is a creak, creak, creaking on the old boards of the front porch. Come closer. Then a tap, tap, tapping on the front door. Is that creature leaving a note? Farmer Brown pulls up his covers tight. He hears quack, quack, quackle in the crisp night air. <gasps> Who could that be? Quackle? Farmer Brown jumps out of his bed. The porch is empty and the candy bowl is gone. Quackle? Something doesn't seem right. There is a new note on Farmer Brown's door saying, Halloween party at the barn. Farmer Brown runs to the barn. There is a creak, creak, creaking on the old boards of the front porch and a crunch, crunch, crunching of leafy footsteps heading toward the barn. And who is that?
there is a tap, tap, tapping at the window. Now, who is at that window? Who was in that costume? And his award that he has in his hand says best costume. I wonder who's going to get that. Happy Halloween. And there's Farmer Brown with the award for the best costume. This is a story about a farmer who plants a tiny little pumpkin seed in the spring. And in the fall, when the pumpkin was ripe, the farmer went to pick the pumpkin. But he discovered the pumpkin was very, very big. So the farmer took a hold of the pumpkin. And he pulled, and he pulled, and he pulled but that darn pumpkin wouldn't come up. So he saw his wife outside hanging up the wash. Oh, we don't hang up wash on the line. Too many people don't do that. They usually use a dryer, but she had a big clothesline and she was hanging up her wash. And he said to her, you know, I tried to pull that big pumpkin, but I couldn't do it. Do you suppose you could help me? And she said, oh, sure. And the farmer's wife took a hold of the farmer and the farmer took a hold of the pumpkin. Now you gotta help me with this, three of these. And they pulled, and they pulled, and they pulled. But the pumpkin wouldn't come up. So the farmer's wife looked outside and she said, oh, I see, I see, down by the barn, um, our daughter is feeding the chickens. And she said to the daughter, you know, we tried to pull that pumpkin, but the pumpkin wouldn't come up. Do you think you could help us? And she said, oh, sure. So the farmer's daughter took a hold of the farmer's wife. And the farmer's wife took a hold of the farmer. Now you got to help me here. And the farmer took a hold of the pumpkin. And they pulled, and they pulled, and they pulled. But that pumpkin wouldn't come up. So down by the barn was the farmer's dog, and the dog was chasing its tail. So the farmer's daughter said to the dog, you know, we tried to pull up that pumpkin, but it wouldn't come up. Do you think you could help us? And the dog said, oh, sure, I'll do that. So the dog took a hold of the farmer's daughter. The farmer's daughter took a hold of the farmer's wife. The farmer's wife took a hold of the farmer. And the farmer took a hold of the pumpkin. Now help me with this three times. They pulled, and they pulled, and they pulled. That, that darn pumpkin didn't come up. So the dog saw the cat napping, and he said to the cat, you really have to wake up because we tried to pull up that pumpkin, but the pumpkin wouldn't come up. Do you think you could help me? The cat said, oh, I'm sure I was sleeping, but I'll help you. So the cat took a hold of the dog, and the dog took a hold of the farmer's daughter, and the farmer's daughter took a hold of the farmer's wife, and the farmer's wife took a hold of the farmer, and the farmer took a hold of the pumpkin. Come on, now we gotta pull really hard. And they pulled, and they pulled, and they pulled. But that pumpkin wouldn't come up. Now, way over in the corner, nibbling on a piece of corn, was a mouse. And the cat said to the mouse, you know, we tried to pull that pumpkin, but we couldn't pull it up. Do you think you can help us? And the mouse said, ha, help you. I can do it all by myself, but since you're there, I'll, I'll help you. So the mouse took a hold of the cat, and the cat took a hold of the dog, and the dog took a hold of the farmer's daughter. And the farmer's daughter took a hold of the farmer's wife. And the farmer's wife took a hold of the farmer. And the farmer took a hold of the pumpkin. Come on, big help. And they pulled, 
and they pulled and they pulled and up came that pumpkin. And you know what the mouse said? See, I told you I could do it. Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. The first one said, oh my, it's getting late. The second one said, there are witches in the air. The third one said, but we don't care. The fourth one said, we're going to have some fun. The fifth one said, then let's run and run and run. Then whoosh went the wind and out went the light. And the five little pumpkins scurried out of sight. Well, have you been cutting up any pumpkins yet? I am a beautiful pumpkin. In a pot I did grow. People say I live in a field, but what do they know? I sit in this pot that looks so much like a pan. It has so much room for me that I can grow as much as I can. I grow and grow and grow until I become an enormous guy. Oh my gosh, I hope I won't be a pumpkin pie. I think I can get this little tiny friend of mine to show up. He's a baby bat and he's kind of scared. Lying, lying. The baby bat screamed out in fright. Oh! Turn on the dark. I'm afraid of the light. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. Then the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Well, I have with me a spider and I'd like you to meet him. But you know, it is a problem. He's kind of shy. So we kind of have to make him feel wanted, you know, to, to invite him to come out. Because he's so shy, he won't come out. Messy little guy, isn't he? Legs all over the place that he shouldn't be. Okay. Let's, on the count of three, say, Oh, spider, come out. Okay, let's do it. One, two, three. Oh, spider, come out. He's not coming out. wonder how we can get him to come out. I know. Let's say it louder. Maybe he didn't hear us. Okay? Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. Oh, spider, come out! He's not coming out. I, I, I wonder what's going to make him come out. Kind of like a turtle. I know. We were loud. Maybe we were too loud. Let's whisper it this time, okay? On the count of three. One, two, three. Oh, spider, come out. Oh, there he is. There he is. Very happy to be out. Okay. I am busy, I am busy, said the spider, said the spider. Very, very busy, very, very busy, spinning my web spinning my web. Okay, repeat after me. I am busy, I am busy, said the spider, said the spider. Story hour is over, story hour is over. See you next week, see you next week. Wave bye-bye, wave bye-bye.